couple showers around this morning as some cooler air is filtering back in uh, yesterday afternoon. Gorgeous weather, but uh, it's not unfortunately going to stick around for very long. Uh, tracking a couple light rain showers. These continue to kind of lose some intensity as they make their way eastward, but uh, a couple light rain showers right now from El Dorado to Harrisburg along Highway 45. A few more uh, southward, say from Carrier Mills to Stone Fort, the new Burnside pair area picking up on some light rain showers. These will continue to push eastward by the time they actually make it into Gallatin County. We're talking a quality to Shawneetown Ridgeway. Uh, there may not be a lot left. Uh, they are kind of fading away very, very quickly here to start the day, but uh, in some areas it's been enough to wet the roads out there. Temperatures fairly mild to start. We're in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Poplar Bluff reporting 50 degrees right now. Uh, Mount Vernon, you're at 46. Metropolis at 49 degrees. No rain has fallen in Metropolis, but there has been a couple light showers moved through both Mount Vernon and Carbondale this morning. Uh, we are seeing some cooler air filter back in. Means winds today back out of the northwest and a lot of clouds around today and tomorrow. Some pretty chilly weather. Uh, high temperatures running about 10 degrees below average here for the later part of March. Now things start to warm back up pretty quickly by Wednesday. We're talking temperatures already back uh, at about 60 degrees and then some spring like weather in store for us towards the end of this week. It does fuel more rain and potentially some spring like storms. That means the potential for a few stronger storms is in our forecast by the end of this week. Uh, right now, area of low pressure pushing away from us uh, did fuel a few of those little light rain showers around this morning. More of the rain to our north moving through uh, Indianapolis now into western Ohio. That, of course, moving away from our region uh, by this afternoon. No rain around, but we will see the clouds around through a good part of the afternoon hours, and we do anticipate temperatures once again to be a little cooler. Yesterday, we were into the upper 60s. Today, uh, we're only going to make it into the lower 50s across Illinois, mid 50s into Kentucky. That northwest breeze running about 10 miles per hour through this afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies will stick around through a good part of the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning, actually, could see some mid to upper 30s, especially into Illinois. And there's even a chance we could see a few rain sprinkles make their way through about mid morning on Tuesday. Not expecting much in the way of measurable rain. But then Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday out of the northwest and temperatures remain fairly cool. Highs only in the low 50s as skies start to clear out tomorrow night. We may want to think about if you've got some sensitive plants already outside, some flowers planted, you may want to try to cover those or bring those indoors because by Wednesday morning, a light freeze and some patchy frost is possible as temperatures dip down into the lower 30s. A lot of that is going to depend on the wind, but uh, right now it looks like winds will be lighter enough that it will be something to watch. Towards the end of the week, that's our next weather maker uh, set to arrive likely uh, Thursday and into Friday, and really Friday is going to be the focus of our forecast here. Cold front approaching from the west, big storm system, and the uh, Storm Prediction Center has already put out a medium risk encompassing much of our region for severe storms on Friday. So that is a storm system we will have to keep a close eye on. Rainfall amounts next seven days, about a half an inch to an inch on average. Could see some localized totals a little higher than that. Again, uh, mostly dry conditions through the middle of the week. Notice temperatures starting to warm back up. By Thursday, we're back in the upper 60s, and then by Friday, we're about 70 degrees or so. There goes the uh, rain, the storms, and uh, behind that storm system, weekend looking a little cooler by Saturday. Highs dip back in the uh, upper 50s and lower 60s by Sunday. I'll tell you what, 70, but it's got to have those storms attached yeah, to it. Yeah, that's this time of year. <laughs> All right, thanks for that.